let's start off by taking a look at a neat little SharePoint 2013 feature called Managed Metadata Navigation. Now, one of the big challenges to navigation inside of SharePoint is the fact that this is going to be set up on every single site. So I need to add or remove links. I have to go in on a site-by-site -site basis, typically, and add all this in and make all of my different changes. On top of that, I typically have limited control over those links, that they're going to be relatively static, that I just simply go in, I create them, I have to modify them, and away we go from there. That if I'm looking for maybe the ability to have my links be a little bit more flexible, a little bit more hierarchical, my capabilities to do things like that can be limited in certain situations. Not only that, but this can also pose certain SEO or search engine optimization challenges. That we may wind up having URLs with spaces in them. Search engines and users aren't uh, big fans of that. That we can have pages with query strings which search engines really don't like. And that we can also wind up with pages that are just buried layers deep inside of our navigation structure, making it more difficult for a search engine to find that or the other big challenge, which is the fact that a search engine is going to see it and go, well, that's buried. It's probably not that important and wind up demoting that inside of the results. This is where managed metadata navigation comes into play. That basically what this allows me to do is this allows me to set up and control my navigation by utilizing a term set. So all the terms that we're going to wind up using, all the terms that we wind up creating, are going to become navigation nodes. And those terms can point to pages, they can point to catalog items, something we'll take a look at a little bit later on in this lesson, and they could also just simply point to URLs. Now in order to enable managed metadata navigation, a couple of things need to happen. At the site collection level, we're going to need to enable a little feature called SharePoint Publishing. SharePoint Publishing actually activates quite a bit behind the scenes, so even if you're not necessarily using this for the traditional publishing story where I'm going to have my users go in and uh, create pages, you still will quite frequently find yourself activating this feature just to enable some of the other cool things that are going to come along with it, like for example, manage metadata navigation. We then, at the site level, need to go in and enable our managed navigation. And then finally, we'll need to go into the term store and actually configure how our navigation is going to look. Let's go in and set up our managed metadata navigation on our public site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up my browser. And I'm going to navigate on over to HTTP colon whack whack public geektrainer.com. Okay. Now what you're going to notice here, just kind of our typical little team site, I want to enable our manage metadata navigation. So I'm going to click on the little gear up top and I'm going to go to site settings. And then I'm going to scroll on down and I'm going to choose our site collection features. Now that's going to be the key here. I'm looking for our site collection features. So I'm just going to click that. And then I'm going to scroll on down to our SharePoint publishing infrastructure. And I'm going to activate that. And now that that's activated, I'm going to go back to the gear again. And I'm going to hit site settings. And now I'm going to go under navigation. Now inside of navigation, you'll notice that I have the ability to turn on my managed navigation. And I can do this at the global navigation, which is going to be up top. Or I can do this at the current navigation, which is going to be over on the left hand side. Now this is going to need a term set. So I'm just going to click create term set. And it will automatically set that up for me. And now I'm just going to scroll on down and hit OK. Now, the moment that I do that, let me go back to my team site here. Let me go back home. And what I want to highlight over on the left-hand side and just above the words team site is the fact that there's no links anymore. Because all of our links are now going to be managed by the team store.
So let me go in to the gear again, and I'm going to go to site settings. And let me, over here under our site administration, go to term store management. And now what you're going to notice is that there is a term group set up for publicgeektrainer.com, and then there is my team site navigation. Now, the big thing that I want to highlight right away, if I go under intended use, is you're going to notice there's a little check next to use this term set for site navigation. Now, the way that we're going to create links, once we enable our manage metadata navigation, is by creating brand new terms and having those terms point to whatever it is that we want to link to. So let's go in and create a link to share documents. So I'm just going to hit the little down arrow here. And let's say create term, and we'll call this documents, and hit enter. And let's go back to our documents here. Now, if you go in and create the term, and you notice that the little tab up top doesn't appear for setting up navigation, make sure that the little term store actually kept the navigation. Sometimes it doesn't. So we want to make sure, if we just go back to intended use, use this term set for site navigation is make sure that's checked, hit save. And now when I do that and I go back to documents and I scroll back up to the top, now you're going to notice that I've got my navigation. So like I said, I want this to point to share documents. So I'm just going to put a little dot next to simple link or header. And let's go ahead and hit browse. And we'll just choose documents here. We'll hit insert, and we'll hit save. So now that we've created our documents link, let's go in and test it. So we'll just hit our little team site link up at the top left, and now you're going to notice that we've got our documents. And so if I click my little link, that will take us over to the documents page. So by using managed metadata navigation, it gives us very easy capabilities to be able to go in and manage our navigation in one centralized location.